What's up guys for commentator and today we're doing Naruto Shippuden episode 280 the artist aesthetics and this episode it was a filler but I had to say this is one of the more interesting fillers that personally I, I, I enjoy to see like these are one of the better fillers that I've seen in my times of watching Naruto and that being said let's get into the review so pretty much what we see is the interrogation of Daedara with a Zetsu infiltrating the camp if you will um, of the samurai and the ninjas together and we do see Kankuro just guarding there just to make sure that uh, no one will actually um, try to break Daedara free for those of you who don't know Daedara she's the guy with the explosions and believes that that in fact is art art is explosions and um, not only that but the funny thing is he gets um, he gets met he gets interrogated by this his old his old friend I believe they aren't um, actually really brother and sisters although she does state that he is his or she is his bro so I don't know. I don't know, they, they said something else, but that's what she's saying. She's saying, bro, but I guess that's more in a, like, a friendly way, you know? So, it's like, hey, what's up, bro? And, you know, the bro says what's up back, although they aren't brothers and sisters. It's just, it's just more of a friendly way of saying, hey, what's up, dude, you know? But, um, anyways, what we do see is Daedra actually comes out because he actually takes the, um, I believe, the Zetsu helps him. He He's starting to break free the... This, this coffin thing that Kankuro did, it's an awesome technique, I've seen it myself, and this thing was like, oh my gosh, like at the end, it was trying to like gobble him up, like it was crazy, it was like, it was a, it was a freaking awesome sill, it was a freaking awesome sill, but let me get to the juice, the juicy part, the insides, the hamburger meat, if you will, and uh, pretty much what happened is, he runs away, Data runs away, everyone's running after him, um, Kabuto's like, okay, you finally escaped, I will let you go free, and uh, it's funny seeing that he honestly didn't care too much about Daedra, you know. He was like, alright, Daedra is going to do whatever he wants. All he does is want to destroy, um, I guess, whatever he wants, you know. He basically just gave Daedra um, free control of his body. And I guess it's interesting seeing his abilities and uh, his techniques. Like, he would be probably, I want to say, very clumsy with it, but at the same time, really destructive. Because if he keeps on doing that huge heart bomb attack thing, and just imagine that with Edo Tensei, could potentially destroy the whole like destroy everything and Edo Tensei from this point I think Edo Tensei is overpowered and I guess that's that's cool like um we do see substitute for Sasuke for those who don't know not Sasuke but um I forgot who um I forgot whoever uh ha helped sealed up Daedra he was one with lightning style I think Darwi excuse me if I'm wrong but um we do see a uh, substitute for him he is a I want to say a more underdeveloped ninja. He's weak at using ninja, or not ninja, but using lightning style, lightning release. But he does do it. But of course, Daedra is just so freaking strong that uh, he he can block it. And with that being said, I I'm wondering, like, does this mean that there's a certain power level where you know certain things just won't affect you? <coughs> Excuse me. But like, say if you're at level 100 per se, you know, to say. And somebody comes up with you with a level, I guess, 20 release, it won't affect you. That means the stronger you are, I guess, you know, it's, that's cool. That's cool. Pretty cool. And, uh, it's pretty interesting. I was actually thinking, I, I analogize that as it were Pokemon, because in Pokemon, ground is actually effective against electric. And with this, we see it a little flopped around, because now electric is actually effective to ground. And in Pokemon, electric does nothing to ground. You know, it, it's really cool. So, with that being said, it, um, it was pretty interesting. We do see a substitute for Darui, um, but after that, that's not even the interesting part, but this guy, this girl who claims to be, uh, Daedra's bro, um, we do see that she does vanish in the part where the samurais and everyone's just coming at Daedra, you know, Zetsu with Daedra, and, uh, Daedra just, just killing him, I mean, he didn't really kill him, but, like, he was just getting mad and whatnot, and he was like, what, this is an arch, I'm not dying, like, you know, he kind of went suicidal there. He was like, this isn't art. How can it be art without me dying? You know, it was kind of really suicidal, but in an ironic way, you know? And he's like, oh, I have to perfect the ultimate art. I have to make it ultimate art. And uh, what ends up happening is he finds Sasuke. Now, I'm, I'm going to simple simplify it for you, the rest of it, because I don't want to make it too long. But he ends up uh, finding a Sasuke. And I do uh, I want to emphasize a Sasuke. Um, and... To end, to end, uh, find out that Sasuke isn't actually Sasuke, and Zetsu was gonna say this, but Daedra was just, you know, just so steadfast, I guess. 
And after that, like, he got up, um, going into a bedrock field, I believe, a bedrock quarry, and I guess that, um, when he gets stabbed with a, with the samurai's electrical battery cell charged sword, he can't do anything about it, and, cause the bedrock won't allow the electric to go flow through it, you know, it won't allow it to pass through it, I guess, you know, if you know what I mean, if you've seen the episode, then you obviously know what I mean, but it was a great episode, I, I personally enjoyed it. Um, one thing I did want to say about the episode is nothing. It was a, it was a cool episode. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Peace out, and, uh, have a nice day. And, yes, this is me, um, continuing my Minecraft. This is my Minecraft island, for those of you who are asking me. Um, but, yeah, it was a great episode. I, I personally enjoyed it. Um, personally, not more of a reviewer way, but I personally enjoyed it.